Yo, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make any loop fit fast in Studio One. So stay tuned. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't want to be starving eyes. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button and check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will have it here, guaranteed. Now, my question of the day is, where do you get your loops from? Let me know, comment section down below. Now, let's get straight into this. Now, I do want to give you a preface before jumping into this video, yeah? I just made a video on how to find the BPM or tempo of any song or beat in Studio One. Go watch that video. That's going to give you most of the information you need in order to make this work. In this, I'm just going to be focusing on making a loop that you already know the tempo of fit to the tempo of your actual, you know, beat or whatever or whatever you're trying to do okay and that's really really easy to be fair so i'm going to give you a brief overlook on how to find the tempo but i'm not going to get in depth like i did in in the other video so go and watch that if you want to really know how to find the tempo okay so first of all let's assume that you know the tempo and then we're going to assume that you don't know the tempo okay i'm going to show you those two different methods so here we have a, well, we've got beats here. We don't have any loops. I'm just gonna be using beats because it's just, you know, I've already got this here. Might as well just use that. So we're gonna just make a, let's make a two bar loop. And this is it. Let's actually bring this to 117. And let's turn it into two bar loop. Mm, let's turn it into four bar loop, I guess. Okay, so all you need to do to get a loop that you already know the tempo of to sync to your project tempo is right click it, change the file tempo to its correct tempo. So this is 117, 117 BPM. Then you can hit that enter button, come away from it. And then you can just move your tempo to wherever you wanna be. So we can move this to 140 and now it's gonna be 140. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We probably wouldn't go that far, maybe 130. Now, as you can hear, you know, it still sounds like the same beat, it hasn't pitched up or pitched down, and that's perfect. Also, something that you do need to know is before doing this, like after you've set the tempo, you do need to hit this I button over here and make sure that the tempo is on time stretch. I do believe by default it is on time stretch, so I didn't mention that, but if it's not working, then that may be the case. For example, if I change this to don't follow, now listen. It's not where we want it to be, is it? So if you time stretch it back up, now it is where we want it to be, okay? So that's that, that's very, very simple, very, very straightforward. Now the tempo stuff, Honestly, should I get into it? I'm gonna give you a little bit. I'm gonna give you a little bit. Really, you can tap the tempo, okay? I'm gonna just quickly go through this. So we're gonna go with this. This is a beat that's at 140. We're going to make it a loop here. And we're gonna change this to don't follow. So it's not, um, you know, it's not linked to our 130 over here. And then we just wanna listen back and see if it loops and it probably will not. Okay, so it's supposed to, the double kick is supposed to hit on the five. So it's off beat. Now with this, what I do is I will tap the tempo first. So down here, you need to count one, two, three, four. I'm gonna show you how I'll do it. And then after you tap the tempo, I'm gonna probably let it hit, let it go through this loop twice. Then I'll drag the actual audio file to 
basically hit where I want it to hit as close as possible. And then depending on what numbers I'll get from that, I'll round it up. So let me quickly show you how that is, okay? So let's play. One, two, three, four. 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 So we got it to about one, four, one. Okay, let's pretend we don't know what tempo this is. So I'm unsure if this is perfect. Okay, so let's listen back. I mean, it sounds pretty there, right? So let's actually extend this loop a little bit, extend it to six, so we can make sure that it's on time. Okay, as you can see, this is not hitting where we need it to hit. This double hit is hitting like over here. But we want it to hit on five. So we're gonna hit tab, which will bring us to the next transient. So generally the next drum hit. And then we're going to bring this drum hit to five. And in order to do that, we're going to click toggle snap, and then we're gonna do control and alt and we're gonna move this right there so. So let's play this back. And now that's at five. So we can now make this loop. Oh shit, I didn't even look at where it was. My bad. You do wanna look at where it actually changes to. So let's bring this to six again. Now if we hit time stretch. Yeah, and we tab it and we hit control alt and we bring this to five. We'll see the tempos 139, one, four, one, three, nine point four. I mean, so that is basically where we want to be. So 139.4. And honestly, you could round down to 139 or round up to 140. I would round, well, because I know it's 140, I'm gonna round to 140. Generally, it's probably gonna be 140 over 139. <laughs> so you could do that. Um, but yeah, now the loop should be perfect. So let's play this back. Perfect, okay. Let's actually change it to 139 and see if that was perfect as well. 139.4. That's basically what it was. And it's hair what that sounds like. I don't know what's going on. Like where everything's moving slow. Wow, just crashed, just crashed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you kind of get what's going on, right? Like, I don't feel like I need to super explain this to you again and again. Watch my video on how to find tempo to see the in-depth version of that. I just wanted to give you like a brief overview of that in this video. But if you want to make professional quality songs, you want to have your vocals half mixed before you even get to the mixing station, go to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal templates and grab my Spotify ready vocal mixing template for Studio One right now. This is the same template I use to make all my songs, it has all the plugins that I use, all the settings that I use and all that sort of stuff, all the EQ and everything set up perfectly so that when you actually start recording it already sounds beautiful before you even get to the mixing stage which is super super important so definitely grab that ASAP it also comes with a PDF that walks you through all the settings that I use so even if you don't have the same plugins that I use you can use your own plugins and apply those same settings and get similar results so definitely grab that link down below go to jcartery.com forward slash vocal templates now if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video, you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.